Virgin Galactic flew VSS Unity into space. In this video, we will discuss an overview of the flight, why it's important, and what is to come for the future of the company. So let's talk about that. On May 22nd of 2021, Virgin Galactic's Virgin Spaceship Unity, or VSS Unity, flew into space. Unity is a Spaceship 2 class rocket-powered space plane, which this flight was piloted by CJ Sturkow and Dave McKay. The test flight begins by EVE carrying Unity to its desired altitude. EVE is the much larger aircraft or mothership to Unity, which was piloted by Kelly Latimer and Michael Masucci. Now the two vehicles would ascend to an altitude of 15 kilometers above sea level. At this point, Unity is then released from EVE, and a few seconds later, Rocket Motor 2, or the rocket engine for Unity, propels the vehicle into space. During the flight, the vehicle will reach a maximum speed of Mach 3, or three times the speed of sound. Now, Virgin Galactic's space plane is only a suborbital vehicle, meaning it won't reach orbit. Therefore, microgravity only lasts for a few minutes. And in this case, the space plane experiences just over two minutes of microgravity. Therefore, anyone on board will experience zero G for just a couple of minutes. Now, in this case, there were the two pilots, but there are also a few experiments on board. Two of the instruments on board the vehicle were from NASA, one of which was testing the electromagnetic field during the flight. The other one was analyzing the collection of dust on different machinery or optical sensors that could impact further development for human exploration to the moon or Mars. The third and last experiment came from the University of Louisville and was looking at how exactly surgical fluid reacts to low gravity environments and the insights gained from this experiment are going to try and help how we can store surgical fluid for long duration human missions to the moon and Mars. Unity's altitude above Earth would continue to increase until it reached apogee, or the furthest distance from Earth. For this flight, it was an apogee of 89 kilometers. Now at this point in time, the space plane would essentially perform a backflip where anyone or any passengers on board would get an excellent view of planet Earth below. Now, after it reached Apogee, both EVE and Unity safely landed back at Spaceport America in New Mexico. This flight was a major success for Virgin Galactic, being the third space flight for the company, being the first ever human space flight to come out of New Mexico, and lastly, marking the company's return to space since 2018. Now, I should mention that Virgin Galactic had previously tried to reach space in December of 2020. However, due to an issue within their rocket engine computer, they had to abort the space flight after Unity was dropped from EVE. Now, I should mention that the two vehicles safely returned to the spaceport back in their previous test. That just goes to show how important this flight is, essentially marking their return since the issue they ran into last December. After the flight, it is unclear what exactly the future timeline is for Virgin Galactic. I would expect over the coming weeks new information regarding this flight and upcoming milestones for the company, but that is just something that we'll have to wait and see. Now, earlier this year, the company announced VSS Imagine, being the first of the Spaceship 3 class space planes. Now, VSS Imagine has a similar design to the previous space planes, but offers upgrades in production, visual aesthetic, and a modular design. Now, ultimately, the goal of the company is to reach 400 flights per year per spaceport, meaning that any improvements in the maintenance, the production, or the modular design in the vehicle could greatly improve the rate in which they fly these space planes. So therefore, it'll be interesting to see how exactly VSS Imagine performs, as some of the first tests are supposed to take place during the summer of 2021. Although this video is primarily focusing on the recent success of Virgin Galactic spaceflight, I should also mention what's going on in the wider suborbital realm, specifically looking at Blue Origin's New Shepard. Now, if you're not familiar, Blue Origin is probably Virgin Galactic's biggest competitor for suborbital space tourism. 
Now recently, Blue Origin has gotten a lot of news lately as the company is bidding off one of the tickets on their first crewed New Shepard flight. And the bid, as of making this video, is at $2.8 million for the seat. Therefore, it'll be interesting to see how exactly these two companies, Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin, continue to improve upon their vehicles and try and have more flights over the coming years. But I'm excited to see how these programs evolve. But with all that being said, I have a question for you. How much would you pay for a suborbital flight on Virgin Galactic space plane? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to this channel. But thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.